I'll bet it out. Hello, my friend. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you are fine. I just want to make a quick update of what's happening in Italy in in quarantine wise my boyfriend is cutting the law don't care about it so I'm just want to give you some information what's the situation here as you probably know the quarantine itself is done it's over we are in the second phase which means that it's not one week ago like two weeks ago the quarantine stopped it didn't really stop because you can like go some places like the IKEA like hundreds and thousands of people started to go to Ikea on the first day when they had the freedom which is insane for me that that's the first place where you want to go so you can like do some stuff what you want to do like buy we really didn't have our freedom back so we have to wait for that in the June the 3rd of June the time when we can meet with friends but still we have to wear mask uh, and I <clears throat> and uh, now it looks like that from now on this is the mask that we should wear we went to the Comune and they told us that this is the mask that we should wear so yeah it looks like that we're going to have summer and from July tourists can come from other European countries people can come to Italy the situation starts to change which is great but we still have to be really aware of everything. Now I, I'm in my studio and yesterday I had my birthday. <laughs> Which is really strange, like having birthday in the quarantine, in, in this time, it's really strange. Like I had so many different memories of my birthday, like having big parties <laughs> and climbing mountains. Once uh, I was uh, on a boat in Venice on my birthday. It was always different. I had different experiences, but being in a lockdown, in a quarantine, is really a strange experience. But still, it was really great. In the morning, my boyfriend brought me some some brioche, uh, some uh, breakfast. Uh, from our favorite pastry shop and and then I, I came here to my studio and I painted this piece here which is a self portrait with my small heart I don't know if you see it, yes my small heart over here I have a small heart compared to my body and I was like listening to some nice African music and podcasts about women empowerment and I felt really like strong and like I collected a lot of really really great feeling about myself it was really a, such a great morning and why I was painted this this self-portrait on my 32nd birthday so like this is me now and I really love it and then you know the rest of the day we were outside in the garden and we were eating so good food we ate fish a lot Viva! of fish it was, it was, and Spanish. cake and everything so it was really really a great day I would say we drank <laughs> wine and I think it's really important to feel gratitude and like be conscious about how much we have and feel thankful for that like I have this beautiful house and I have you know food that is growing in my garden and and I can you know make art and I have people who love me and I love them back so I have so much and that is so important to think in, in this time now. We have to learn from this, like we have to think and be inside of ourselves a little bit and learn from this, why this is happening and how I can change and yeah, so I hope you have a wonderful day and um, and thank you for coming and watch, watch my banana in front of the, the window, it's amazing. Okay, bye.